Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dignity. This is going to be BSL Season 14, Hasu League, Round 32, Group B. Bottom right hand corner, we got Doodle starting as the Red Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Kiko starting as the Blue... Did I say Blue twice? Bottom right hand corner, Doodle, Red Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, Kiko, Blue Terran. Take two, I had to restart because one problem with having an overlay is I got to update it in between, uh, in between casts, but... Kiko really dismantling Invisible. I actually really like Invisible Men's decision the previous game to open up with a four gate as far as a follow-up because that natural expansion on Metaverse is so large by the way we are on Metaverse once again. But Kiko doing exactly what he needed to do, getting those mines laid in between and the Dragoons just being softened up and obliterated and also bought lots of time to get those siege tanks. I think he recognized it. I have, like, what's my excuse? I have, like, full vision. Didn't even bother to look back at the base. I should have realized, like, this is a lot of Dragoons, and I realized that a little bit late. There's a lot of Dragoons coming out that are getting that are running into these Vultures. But anyway, Doodle setting up a pylon on the front. I would not be shocked to see him go for a, another 12, 13, 14 early Nexus, being that it is a four-player map, and it is so large. Metaverse. The thing, so, hmm, I want to favor Doodle just because he, actually going for a gateway opener, so going gateway first, at the natural expansion, wants to get zealots in his opponent's base. Looks like he's going to be scouting clockwise, though. So he's going to so that at least the probe, as far as movement, is going to come across the base last. A barracks being built interior for Kiko. I was going to say potentially two factory. Kiko has very strong factory pushes, but on this map, because of that ramp at the lower location, I'm wondering how much of that is stifled. And I haven't seen metaverse being a new map. I haven't seen a lot of Terran attempt to execute factory pushes on this map as of yet as it, because yeah you just got the I, i'm almost wondering if they're stronger because you have this fallback point with the huge high ground to work with but you do have to end up breaching kind of this ramp area here so it's kind of one of those i don't know one direction or another it looks like the scv scout is going to scout counterclockwise so unfortunately he's going to see his opponent last you have three scv on gas currently for kiko but we're going to see if that's just to get that initial factory down first sell it is being produced Doodle knows where to set it, and on top of that, he's going to have the Probe Scout coming alongside. One thing on this map, though, Supply Depot being built along the edge so the Marine can run back and forth, is that the ramp is rather small. As far as it, I believe it's because of the verticalness of it, kind of the new feature, and the map maker is showboating. It's a, ooh, the Probe Scout going to see that it's just one SCV on gas. Looks like Kiko was moving towards the one factory play probe going behind the mineral line as the zealot is moving forward so the mineral the, the marine's not going to be in position to assail this and let's see if the zealot can so it's going to be two marines and the factory on the way so the zealot's going to want to run in try to delay that factory as long as possible there is a cybernetic score whooping in behind this but a second zealot making its way across so doodle wanting to get very very aggressive with these initial zealots that probe's not going to be much help though because it's taking a lot of damage rather than going for the factory delay it's getting in and amidst the scv getting blocked out of it and so taking a lot of damage. And nice split there by Kiko, only taking one shot on these two Marines. Does get a Marine kill, but that Zealot's going to get cleaned up. The Probe's still low on health. The second Zealot's going to have to march up, but with that SCV blockading, and this is what I mean by, this is the comment I wanted to make on that narrow ramp. So now two Marines going to hold the front. They have full health. The Zealot's going to have to wait for support. And on top of that, the SCV's managed to march around. Is he going to go ahead and try to blockade? Looks like not. That was a weird glitch. It looked like it went straight through this corner wall with the uh, re-rally. Zealot engaging the SCV. The Marines actually body blocking. But more Marines being produced. And two factories coming online. First siege tank's going to be here momentarily. SCV's making its way back across the probe trying to harass it. A Dragoon waiting at the natural expansion maybe to do some harassment. But these there's plenty of Marines to take this. This is very risky on Doodle's part. That is plenty of Marines. But he does get an eye on the Marine count to see whether this is going to be a follow-up, potentially a follow-up attack. And I think Kiko is going to go for a follow-up. Probably three siege tank, uh, several vulture assault. SCV is now pinned in the corner. Oh, Bandage just sneaked right back out. Five health. Is he going to make it? Two gateways. And a Dragoon there to go ahead and wipe them out. Two gateways to Nexus following stuff. So yeah, it's so you see the two siege tanks here, the Marines and the initial tank going ahead and bowling this out. Doodle, I think Kiko trying to show like, yeah, I'm just going for an expansion. But in reality, with these two factories, I think he's definitely, yeah, going to go for 
the Siege Tank Vulture Flood, although a little bit delayed on getting Vulture Speed because of repairing that Siege Tank on the front. And also just the fact he's repairing it, I think, is a good indicator that he wants to, yeah, just assault. Nope, did he miss the mine upgrade? I wonder if it, okay, there's the mine upgrade. That was, that might've been detrimental, but going to move out momentarily. The Dragoon sees it, and this is where, yeah, we, where we want to see what this is going to look like as far as the defense, because Doodle maybe who walks up and holds, yeah, the high ramp position, maybe he can repel this, but there are other angles to take. It's just this angle, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. So Kiko currently holding up on the high ground here. He's gonna wait momentarily for a lot of the upgrades to finish. I'm wondering if he's just gonna wait for siege deck or if he's just gonna try to push his way up regardless. Fanning the troops out. So it looks like the factory push is a little bit harder to execute just because of the positioning of everything, but regrouping these units. Seeing all the Dragoons trying to lower them onto the low ground is successful in doing so. I don't think he wants to take any shot at this, particularly without Siege Tech. So holding up short, this is a lot of resources to invest, so he does need to push this. The Vulture is trying to slide through, gets, some, gets a mine down behind all of this. Now the mines on that backfield wiping out a lot of the Dragoons, and Kiko with an amazing execution. Sliding the Vultures along that corner, getting the mines planted, probes coming off the line to try to defend this. Able to take out some of the mines on the front, but still a lot of probes getting killed. That's what Pico needs to stay in this. More vultures moving up. Another mine planted. So two zealots, there's gotta be more reinforcements coming shortly because I think there's still, you keep in mind there's still those three gates back here, but the vulture wandering up and doing what vultures do, killing probes. Siege tanks trying to use these two mines as a defensive location. Another Dragoon taken out, and Kiko continuing to press. These siege tanks still have a lot of health to their name. And more Vultures are flooding in, getting more mines on the low ground, making reinforcing and retaking the natural expansion a challenge. More probes get, able to get on top of the siege tanks, able to get some damage done. Battle probes, they're going to be able to, yeah, able to get a kill right there. Love to see it. But the two siege tanks still holding here. Doodle actually behind in the SCV count overall at this moment. And Kiko still pressing. More Dragoons wiped out. And it's, yeah, the probe's now evacuating that natural expansion. And is Siege Tank on the way? Siege Tank is being morphed, being morphed, being upgraded. It's going to be a while morphing as for Zergs. Morphin time. I never thought about that. Technically, Zerg or Power Rangers. Vultures. A Vulture slipping through. More mines being planted on the top gateway. And I think Kiko's done it. Has breached absolutely everything. Robes group attacking, able to wipe out there. Nice mine trigger to, yeah, and he can just keep planting mines. And these gateway units are not going to be long for life. An observer finally popping out. So maybe there's some room for life, but in not too long, there's going to be too many attack units to repel inside this base. And right now, Doodle down to 12 workers. And he's going to lose his nexus. Kiko's expanding behind this. Doodle realizing this is tournament life, so yeah, gonna fight it out. I don't know what he can do to follow up behind this, though, and more Dragoons. Yeah, there's GG. So Doodle gets knocked out. We're gonna have Kiko advance to the round of 16. A really exciting Group B. Hope you guys enjoyed it all together. Thanks for listening.